What's up, Python coders? Welcome back to your go-to channel for Python tutorials and coding challenges. Today, we're diving into a showdown between two of Python's hottest API frameworks, Flask versus Fast API. Whether you're building a quick prototype or a high-performance API, one of these frameworks is going to be your best friend. In this video, we'll break it down across three key areas, ease of learning, performance, and community support. Stick with me, and by the end, you'll know exactly which one to pick for your next project. Let's dive in. Think of Flask and Fast API as two different cars for your API building road trip. Flask is like a reliable, easy to drive sedan, perfect for short trips or beginners. Fast API, it's a sleek, turbocharged sports car built for speed and power, but it takes a bit more skill to handle. Both get you to your destination, but which one's right for your journey? Let's start with ease of learning. If you're new to web development or just want to whip up an API in minutes, Flask is your go-to. It's a lightweight, minimalist framework that's as simple as it gets. You can have a working API up and running faster than you can brew a cup of coffee. Check out this basic Flask example. With a few lines, you've got an API. No complicated setup, no extra baggage, just pure simplicity. Now, Fast API, it's a bit more involved. It's built for modern Python using type hints and async programming, which makes it super powerful but adds a learning curve. Here's a similar Fast API example. Fast API comes with awesome features like automatic data validation via Pydantic and built-in API documentation, but you'll need to understand concepts like async, await, and type hints to use it effectively. For beginners or quick projects, Flask wins for its dead simple setup. But if you're ready to level up and want production-ready tools, Fast API's extra features are worth the effort. When it comes to speed, Fast API is the undisputed champion. It's built on asynchronous programming, which means it can juggle multiple requests at once, like a chef cooking multiple dishes simultaneously. Flask, on the other hand, is synchronous, handling one request at a time, like a chef cooking one dish start to finish before moving to the next. In real-world tests, Fast API consistently outperforms Flask, especially under high load. For example, when handling hundreds of concurrent API requests, Fast API can be up to 3x faster in terms of latency. If you're building a high-traffic API or need top-notch performance, Fast API is the clear winner. Flask is no slouch for smaller apps, but it can't match Fast API's speed under pressure. Both Flask and Fast API have massive communities, so you're never alone when you hit a coding roadblock. Flask, around since 2010, has a huge ecosystem with tons of extensions for things like authentication or database integration. Need a feature? There's probably a Flask package for it, plus a mountain of tutorials and Stack Overflow answers. Fast API, though newer, launched in 2018, is growing like wildfire with 78K GitHub stars compared to Flask's 68K. Its modern documentation and built-in tools like automatic Swagger UI for testing APIs make it a developer's dream. Flask's community is more established, but Fast APIs is catching up fast. Call it a tie, both have robust support but Flask edges out for legacy resources, while Fast API shines for modern workflows. Here's the bottom line. Pick Flask if you're a beginner, prototyping, or building a small, simple API. It's quick to learn, easy to set up, and perfect for hobby projects or microservices. Go with Fast API if you need a high-performance, scalable API with modern features like data validation and automatic documentation. It's ideal for production apps or when speed is critical. And there you have it, Flask versus Fast API, broken down to help you make the smart choice for your next Python project. Which one are you picking? Let me know in the comments and tell me what you're building. 
If you loved this breakdown, hit that like button, subscribe for more Python tutorials, and ring the bell so you never miss a challenge. Keep coding, keep learning, and I'll catch you in the next one.